the man who actually accused us, our organisation, of being involved in fraud has been covering up for the IRA and the Republican movement through DARD for years. Is it any wonder the same individual pointed the finger at us and accused us whenever he got the opportunity of attacking the innocent victims? Because we said this individual, well, we didn't know exactly who it was, but we said about this carry-on that was going on within DARD, where farmers uh, within the Republican community were being tipped off about things coming out in advance and how they were being covered whenever they carried out the fraud, their cases were being binned. The money that these people have been creaming off is millions. Who's had to pay that back? And the farmers don't even realise this at the minute. The farmers have had to pay it back because the fines have come out of your payments. A matter of fact, your subsidies have been cut to cover for the fraud, the millions that went into the pockets of the provies. I don't go out on a limb unless I'm sure. But the individual who pointed the finger at the victims in South Armagh and said, oh, they're guilty of fraud, will regret the day he ever issued them words because it led us to the man who was actually behind covering up for the IRA and for all the fraud going on. It's not only South Armagh, but right across the board in the whole of Northern Ireland. And the money that should be going to farmers has been creamed off. They talk about two million there went for slurry tanks. Two million did go to slurry tanks. The problem is half of the slurry tanks don't exist. And I would challenge Dard to call me a liar. It may be within a week, it may be a fortnight, and it may take a month. But hopefully it won't be much longer than that when the whole lot will be out into the open. And we will see then who is guilty of what. It's another and total disgrace that the farming community, the most important industry in Northern Ireland, is being destroyed by Sinn Féin IRA and our politicians is letting it happen. The other are incompetent and don't realise what the IRA is doing or they're sitting back and fell in their own nest and letting it happen because they don't want to upset their own apple cart. The fraud is going to be exposed. Uh, who's involved in it? The very people who investigate the fraud are carrying out the fraud. You couldn't write the script for it. It's like the Northern Bank. Some of the people in this country will do anything to keep what they call a peace process going. This is not a peace process. This is an appeasement process. We all want to live in peace. We all want to move on. But it is time you start to deal with these individuals. We do not agree that money that is bound for genuine farmers or genuine uh, projects is creamed off. And when it's creamed off and when it is discovered or somebody raises the issue on it, they say it's not in the public interest, except when it comes to fair. And then when it came to fair, they pointed all the fingers they cut at us and accused us of all the wrongdoings. And at the finish up, they couldn't find anything wrong. We'll go and look at Saver Never. What's happening with Saver Never? Now, there's good people in Saver Never, but I'll tell you this Saver Never was to be the icon, was to be the thing that would be set on the pedestal where all these people just loved what was going on. They had no interest, the people at the top of it had no interest in what the ordinary victim needed and wanted. That's why they have been set on the pedestal. The fraud, they're going to try and bury it as well. Now really, to be honest with you, I don't care what they do. But to try and bury us when we've done nothing wrong. They've pumped millions into the prisoners. Millions upon millions into the prisoners. 
they stole it of industries like the farming industry and uh, other industries as well where money was earmarked for to create jobs and to create uh, an economy they took it and once our politicians done about it no matter of fact they have decided well let's get on the gravy train as well let's become part of the gravy train and stuff the ordinary innocent victims look what's going on with the fire brigade look what's going on with the government the whole thing is rotten rotten to the core well they thought they would bury us and mother fact they were pretty sure they were going to bury me because they actually said the lamb out because fish will be dead anyway well you eat your words gear you eat your words because when this all comes out i'm going to put the whole lot up on the internet and let people see the correspondence let people see who was doing what i'm not hide away from it i will let you see it and i will let you judge it and the money that should be going into loyalist communities is not going into loyalist communities it's been siphoned off and used for a gravy train so the economy within the loyalist communities and that should be prosper is not getting the money because it's going to other individuals the community organizations who should be getting the money are not getting it because it is going to keep certain individuals happy and within the victim sector the victims certainly are not getting it 